paying that much attention to it. And, but my only thought was, mm, yeah, that's good. But I didn't have a, a true opinion on if it should be less or more. So it sounds like you hit or spot on. Okay. Jason's going to learn how to braid my hair today. You're gonna part it all the way down the back too. All right, okay. But you can face that way now. <laughs> okay. Well, you can face whichever way you want. So. You just want a relatively straight line. Yeah. But I don't want it to too straight because then it looks like Kind of like a mark. <laughs> yeah. It's like a machine did it or something? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to tie up this side with a rubber band. Okay. And yeah. just one side, doesn't matter which, obviously. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to do this side so you can see what it looks like. Have an idea. Okay. And then you have to do the other side, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. So take a look over on this side. Okay, so what I do is I kind of just take a little bit of my bangs out and then right above where my ear is, uh -huh. I'll bring it back. Okay. Like that. And this is where I split it in three. Do you know how to do just basic braids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Three, three portions. Okay, so there's three <coughs> portions here, roughly. Yeah. Right? So then I'll bring the inside, the outside in, and keep doing that. Right. But then, every time I move from the outside, I bring in, I attach a little bit more hair from the outside. Ew. So Sorry. that, yeah, so that the braid gets a little bit bigger. Yeah. Until I get to the nape of my neck, where I can't really grab any more hair. Okay. See right there. Yeah. Um. Then I just kind of hold three sections like that. Yeah? Yep, I see it. Bring it. And I only do this because I don't have the hands to do it. And then, well, usually a mirror would help, but I don't have a mirror. So I'm just going to do a, a basic braid all the way down. And then. So it's one basic braid the whole way, except in this portion, I'm taking little slices from the outside. Yeah. Slices. Precisely. Portions. Portions, yeah. Slices. <laughs> then I continue the same braid in the same direction. Yeah. Yeah. So I kind of, if you take a look at it, it kind of goes so above my ear and then just down. Nice. Wrapped around my ear. You're going to have to do it t tomorrow by yourself. Tomorrow? <laughs> just kidding. All right. Cute. Alright, so we got here's the whole bunch. Yeah. I'm gonna go behind your ear <laughs> and then grab from the top. Are you laughing already? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I got your initial, is this way the right size? Right? Yeah. Initial three. Okay. We got to right, split that into three. Uh-huh. And does it matter? So start from this side? Yeah. Okay. But did it matter? No. I guess not it does really. actually. Maybe. Okay. It doesn't really matter. And now it's time for the outside, so you gotta grab a little more. A little another slice. Ooh, yep, here we go. <laughs> we gotta keep track of which is which though. Yeah. Color coded, you know what I mean? Hey. I think that's how some people learn. Where they tie it in three hair ties, yeah, and then they color code it so that they're like green, pink, green, pink, green, pink, or whatever, you know. <laughs> Lord. I'm trying to focus here. You told me anecdotes, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of focus, in the previous month, what did we do that I didn't record? We went to two shows at the lodge room. First one was. Uh, oh my god, what's his face? Ooh, John 
Carol Kirby. John Carol Kirby. Logan Hone. <laughs> has a little sister so you should have <laughs> already learned how to do this a long time ago. No, no, no I, I get the math and everything I, I'm just not I'm, it, you know it's a uh, remember when you were young you try to first <laughs> use chopsticks or something to try to learn yeah and you just feel uncoordinated right it's more about that and you feel your fi fingers are they, they just become sausages <laughs> out of yeah. nowhere yeah yeah you can do it several times is that Sandy trying to get outside uh, she's down by your ankles. Oh. All right. Uh, I'm call it there. Here's that. I miss a huge. What the heck? <laughs> I miss a huge portion. But this is attempt number one. Yeah. And just like slip that out on the side. Wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What's gonna happen with this? But look. 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 You look at the side. I'll redo it. I just wanted to show show like the first attempt. Yeah. Hey, how about you do it? I get to practice when I'm not getting under pressure, you know? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, I'll do the other side too. Okay. I mean, we're gonna, I'm gonna document this, your progression. And then the second show that we went to is Psychic Mirrors, which is so fun. <laughs> Have you ever braided your sister's hair? Or yeah. Like yeah, I have. Did you just do like a basic? But it braid? was just a, just a straight braid, and it was way thinner pieces of hair. So I feel like I could I could hold them. It was yeah. a much thinner ending braid. Oh. Uh -huh. Can you pick up Sanu? She's like Jason. Let's go outside. Oh. She's so cute. My name is Santa and she's here to stay. My name is Santa and I'm here to stay. <laughs> Jason thinks that her name should be Sorbet. <laughs> Wait, what was the other one? Yogurt. Well, no, that was just... We were, cause we were just talking about specifically to do with her color. Yeah, and I said... Mm. So Sorbet is my only... <laughs> Not really, that was just the nougat. first one I thought of. Nougat? Nougat. Nougat, yeah, it's that. The like coffee or chocolate nougat. So we left these croissants out from the freezer to proof for just like overnight. And they started out like really small, so. Uh, Maybe a quarter of this or a third that size? Yeah, a third of the size. And then we left it overnight and then it. We, we just like got it out this morning of the oven. Oh, the oven wasn't on, right? Right, right. Yeah, it's just a place to hide them. So they're they're out on a baking sheet, on parchment paper, or lightly buttered. Leave them out overnight, you know, or nine hours worth. Yeah, and then now we're going to bake them for how long? Uh, well, 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes on the center rack from Trader Joe's. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Go ahead, you can do the honors. Oh, it's really soft. Very tasty. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, this is really good. Mmm. <laughs> what? Remember the, the video I sent you the other day? The the real where the woman is making fun of food, food reviewers who have no vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> it's um, tasty. Anything else to say? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not a food reviewer. It's got almond paste on the inside. Yeah. It's very light and fluffy and warm. Mm -hmm. It's soft on the inside in a good way. Um, and then flaky crispy on top with uh, powdered sugar sprinkled on. Mm. Which you have to provide yourself, right? You have to add your own powdered sugar. Yeah. It is way spongier. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're inhaling. I inhaled the sugar, yeah. Yeah. It's way like, spongier, fluffier than if you were to get it like 
uh, like a pre-baked, right? Well, yeah, because it's still warm, right? But I think if you bought a pre-made croissant from a bakery and put it in the oven for a few minutes, it would be like this. Oh. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Remember how much it was for four? Oh no, Lisa gave this to us. Thank you, Lisa. That's right. Thanks, Lisa. Mm. I don't know, but it's probably six bucks is my guess for four of them. I'd say like four bucks. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. Four forty-nine. Right, hang on. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm closer. You said six bucks. Yeah. I said four bucks. I know. I'm fifty percent difference. What about tax? You don't get tax on groceries. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what do you want? Uh -huh. <laughs> You're holding like a baby. We went to Target. We got a lot of hand soap. Got lactate. Got a lot of mustard for dressing. Jello. And I've never made this before. Smoked paprika. And we're gonna make the pudding first. Oh, I made matcha pops. You want one? Yeah, please. It's really dark. Pretty good. Okay, directions. Three cups cold milk. It's been two minutes. I'm gonna put it back in the fridge so that we can enjoy it later. Like it? It's been sitting for about, I don't know, like two hours in the fridge. This is my favorite cup because it already looks like chocolate. Good. Yeah. This is really good. <laughs> it's like I remember. <laughs> Rock standard. Jason made this chair. I love it. What's your favorite thing about the chair? My favorite thing is that the arms, you can set a cup on the side of it. Pudding station. Yeah, and it's, and it's comfortable. Ooh, yeah, I don't even know what's coming. Woody. You might smell that silver vine because they're both hanging around a bit. What's silver vine? Well, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think it's works like a catnip, just some sort of herb or plant that they enjoy. Hey Winnie, are you excited? How, how tall is his head? Right here you think? Uh... I'm just gonna get a little height measurement for her head. 
She was standing up scratching herself. There, probably, right? Yeah, right there. Right there. Oh, man. <laughs> this door frame is... Oh, it'll, it'll work. Hey, look. Woody, look. Go measure yourself. Might also smell like crack. Oh yeah, whatever silver line is. We got a little baggie straight from the dealer. Hang on. <laughs> it's just catnip. <laughs> it looks all gray. So it's, it's a silver vine catnip blend. I'm sure it's nice and old. But, and there's these little compartments here. There and there. You put it in there. Somehow. Hey, Woody knows what's up. He's like, what's this? You're getting debris everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> they were oh, she's already into it. <laughs> she's like, get the fuck away. How did I get this? It's not even clicked in yet. Oh my God, she loves it. Get out of there, Woody. Oh my god, she loves it. Are you okay, Woody? It's okay, Woody. Okay, so I just brought back some stuff from the kiln and uh, let's go through it. This is an outdoor cat dish. I designed this for Ollie because my dad used to foster kittens and ants would get in their food because he used wet food mostly. Um, so what he would do is take two dishes, like two separate dishes and kind of like nest them together. Kind of like... Kind of like if you were to take this dish and this dish, nest them together so you have a little groove right here. And then fill the center with food, fill the outside with water. So I was doing that for a while because food was getting into, or because ants were getting into all these food. And then eventually I just wanted to make him something. So I made one that was um, together. So it's double walled like this. You fill the outside with water and the inside with food. And it could be wet food, dry food, whatever. Um, I find that wet food attracts more ants, so it's really useful for that. I'm not sure what colors people want, so this is going to be made to order, but you can ask for whatever color combination you want. This one is called Bringle Yellow. I like it because it looks like a, like a pea soup kind of green. This one is one that Jason tested out. It's a different design, so it's a little bit further down. There's this thing called whisker fatigue. so. Your whiskers, I mean, their whiskers get kind of worn out because they use it so much. Um, so if their bowl is too small, like for a while I was using these really, really tiny bowls. Um, so then, like, small, you know? Like the size of a, like a, a can of cat food or whatever. Um, if it's too small, then I guess their, their whiskers get really worn out. So Jason made one that's a little bit more flared out and then the water goes in right here and yeah this is his glaze pattern too which i think is really beautiful for these indoor cats that i'm taking care of right now um they eat their food like super fast one of them eats her food like super fast so she eats it as if she's never gonna get food again so what happens is that because she eats it so fast she starts like throwing up um, so what we did was we started putting her cat food in, one sec, so what we did was we started putting her cat food in this, which is something that Jason made, there are bones and the bones kind of stick out a little bit, so what you do is you fill it with the food, 
and then as they're eating it hits the bones so then they work their way around the bones right so it forces them to slow down their eating so that they're not consuming it too quickly and yeah they seem to really like it also because it's like a little bit further off the ground i made this kind of similar to this design but this is for like a slow feeder so if your cat eats too fast this is what they get and i like this color combination a lot so it's glazed ranch butter on the inside and on the outside is just raw Soba, I guess, yeah, soba noodles, and Valerie's here. <laughs> it's, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Yeah, and then we also have like cucumber salad. Yeah, we're gonna dig in. I think the storm is coming. I think, I mean, I think it's really starting to happen. I have all the windows open right now. It's almost three. And I went into the studio a little bit earlier because I can walk there and I figured it would be empty. But then when I got in, it was completely packed. Every table was taken. Everything was, it was just blown out, right? So then I walked back home I was just thinking like before I went in, I was like, hey, it's pretty calm right now. I think it will be fine. But then I see that thing about the calm before the storm. There was just an earthquake, like just five minutes ago. Not even five minutes ago. The cats didn't feel it at all. There was an alert on my phone to like take cover, but it wasn't too bad. It was like 5.5, I think. So I think I'm just going to do some chores around the house. I'm texting my neighbors right now to see what they're up to. Um, but you felt the earthquake. Adrian didn't feel the earthquake at all. He's just two houses down. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna... <gasps> I wanted to go to the studio. I wanted to do something productive, but I guess I really shouldn't. Yes, 
give him my right ears. <laughs> So this is a sort of a special occasion Dutch breakfast we used to have when we were growing up in Holland. And it's called Hachelslach, which is really just little uh, chocolate sprinkles. And the dessert is you get white bread, butter, and chocolate sprinkles. I know it sounds crazy. Um, don't know the origin of it other than that we had it when we were kids occasionally. And it was sort of like the way Americans would have a donut for breakfast, right? Yeah. It's a special treat. So here's the the regular sprinkles. We've got the sweet brioche bread from Trader Joe's with some room temp butter. And then got this awesome multi-pack of sprinkles from Christine's friends from Holland. Thank you so much. These are awesome. I haven't had these since I was about nine years old. I'm excited. All right, so this is what I'm wearing to my cousin Rose's wedding. Um, this is a dress that I found at a thrift store for like four dollars and I've had it for a long time and I'm glad that I held on to it because it's really coming to handy this year. It's got like these buttons down the back. The funny thing is that it's actually just a zipper and um, I DJ'd a Barbie themed party and I wore this dress and I was dancing so hard that it ripped up the back all the way up to where the buttons are. So like past my butt. And then when this wedding came up, I was like, I have the perfect dress to wear, but I have to get it fixed. I just got it back from the dry cleaner. And uh, this is my favorite part. The purse, it's my friend Stephanie works for this company and she was like, hey, do you need to borrow a purse? Um, and so I picked one out and this is it. And I love it because I think pink and green go really well together. So I have some green accessories, some jade, some like a jade necklace that I also found at Remainders and um, these earrings from Alice and Lou which is kind of like costumey but I really like it and I was gonna do my hair kind of like straight and curled in a little bit but then Jason had the idea to just do braids. Yeah I had the idea. <laughs> yeah you did. You agreed. Yeah, and I thought it was cute. That looks really it's, cute, like, really yeah. Carefree. But then also, it, we're going to a traditional Vietnamese wedding at like a seafood restaurant, and usually there's karaoke and um, dancing afterwards. So, I, I'm bringing this dress, which is kind of like a dual tone, slinky, velvet dress. The backup. The backup dress. In case yeah. you blow through the pink one. Again, yeah, just in case. Um, but yeah. Same kind of vibe, it has a slit on the side, which is like, kind of like a traditional Vietnamese alley in a way, or like a, like a Chinese dress. Um, but yeah, jewel tones. And the most important part, the shoes. These are traditional Vietnamese, uh, like wedge shoes. 